Hi guys, welcome to Water Process and Engineering Services. Today is uh, July 10, 2020. Welcome to our water retention station. Uh, what we do right now is uh, I would like to show you the actual uh, backwashing of the uh, machine. So this is our machine guys. Okay. Our our machine is uh, a combination of manual, uh, two manual, the carbon black, the carbon FRP, and the carbon uh, manual, and the soft and the synthetic for the uh, automatic. So we are in the mood right now of the aesthetic. That display that you see. It's the uh, rice flow. So, what I did is uh, I took this one for 12 minutes rice flow. So, and, and then take a look at the uh, sink, concrete sink, tile sink. This is this one is uh, the one that you will notice during the rice flow. That is the flow of water during the brine flow. So, what is uh, basically happens during the brine flow? So, during the brine flow, this uh, FRP, a uh, recent FRP, is contain basically the resin, and during the brine flow. It will suction, uh, suction the dissolved industrial salt right here on the brine tank. All right, this is the brine tank. And let's take a look inside. As you can see, this is the dissolved uh, industrial salt. Okay, or the sodium chloride of the rotary fluid station. This is the sack of uh, industrial salt guys. Okay. This is uh, 40 kilos uh, industrial salt. And being dissolved inside this brine tank. Okay, as you can see, if you can notice um, since we are now at the brine slow, the level of water is uh, going slower, lower and lower. This is 12 minutes brine slow, and if you can see, that bubble is the dissolved industrial salt. Uh, during the brine slow, uh, the dissolved industrial salt it's being suctioned from this pipeline you can see this uh, this is something like a filter on the brine slow and there's a little blue hose here okay look over this one you can see the the soil in this real soil is being suctioned by the machine Okay, you can follow the blue hook. Alright. Okay, going to the customer digital head. Okay. That is basically what happens during the brine slow. The the salt in the cell salt is being suction going to the HRP tank. Okay, this is the FRP tank and what is inside of this one is the e-balls and the resin. Okay, this is the brine flow right now. This is now the regeneration of uh, the industrial salt and the uh, uh, resin that is inside in this. 
uh, FRP time. Dung, during the regeneration of the uh, uh, industrial salt and the recent, there will be an exchange of, uh, um, let's say, uh, there will be a chemical reaction between that sodium chloride and the recent. So the calcium and the magnesium, since the water is uh, consists of some minerals like calcium, magnesium, iron, and so on and so forth with the water, uh, the sodium chloride is uh, will be the one to be the uh, what do you call this one? Uh, Uh, interchange of uh, chemicals uh, chemicals in the water uh, if the water has the calcium magnesium uh, when the sodium chloride approach to the recent that is inside to this uh, uh, the sodium chloride uh, the, cal the calcium and the magnesium will be removed from the uh, water particles and it will be uh, thrown away or backwash during the uh, fast range. So after this, if you can see the display, uh, something like a crown with a yellow, that is the display of brine flow. So let's take a look how many minutes more to go. Okay, we got 4 minutes and 24 seconds more to go before we uh, finish on the bright flow. Okay, so the sodium chloride right now is being uh, uh, placed or inserted inside the disk. Uh, FRP tank. So the, the water now, there will be a chemical reaction between the water that has the chemicals, minerals of uh, uh, sodium chloride and the, cal uh, the calcium magnesium. Uh, the water has the, but the water has the calcium and magnesium and of course the iron and many other minerals that is inside the water so what is being uh, removed right now is the calcium magnesium during the fast range so after this mode after this mode the the next mode is the brine refill so what happened to that brine refill is uh, the water uh, the computer now will execute uh, replacement of water that what is, that is being suctioned from this brine tank. Okay, as you can see, let's have a light. Okay, a while ago, the level of water is something here. And if you can see, it's getting lower and lower. So the minutes that is scheduled to this uh, brine flow is 12 minutes on my set on my setup. So after this, brine with uh, the mood of uh, brine refill will be the next mood. Let's take a look on the display. So this, what is still not okay? We got 1 minute and 56 seconds, 54 minutes, 33, 51 seconds more to go before we finish brine flow. So after this, brine refill. So during brine refill, I sit brandy field for seven minutes. So during brandy field, there will be a replacement of water. 
again to this uh, brine tank. Okay. Okay. So if I might now get 8 minutes, uh, 8 o'clock, 6, 16 minutes in the evening. So we got 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 15 seconds more to go before we finish brine slow. Okay, this is the flow of water during the brine brine slow. The flow of water is not so fast during the brine slow brine slow. Okay. Brine slow is uh, basically the uh, the insertion of the how do you see that it's the placing of uh, industrial salt inside the this FRP tank? Okay, so this is the simply description. All right, there you have it. I, if you can uh, uh, figure out with the sound of the machine. Now, as you can see, that is the Brian. Refill. Right, the seal. Move. Right, seal now is the replacement of the water that is being suctioned. Okay. Let's try to notice. Let's try to observe, should I say. Alright. If you can see, the water is here. The water label is something here and slowly but slowly the water is going up right going up right let's take a closer look right if you can uh, observe <coughs> You can see the water now can arrive to the markings here. So that's basically the story or uh, what is happening during the brine refill. Yeah, that's a friendly tip right here on <coughs> water process and engineering services. Right here on our own station, this is just a simple station, guys. Drop into my camera. now is going up. Slowly is going up. All right, there you go. As you can see the water now is going slowly going up. This is the replacement of water during the brine slow. So we are on the brine refill right now. So the schedule of this one is uh, seven minutes. 
And we got 21. I just came to one minute more to go before we uh, finish. Oh no, we got 2 minutes and 54. 51, 50 seconds more to go before we uh, finish grinding fuel. And I guess we are going to overflow with this setup. Okay, but don't worry, we have in our settings we have the overflow pipeline. So there will be no scale of water or the dissolved brine water here. So this is safety. You can see. This is the overflow, right? We are on overflow right now. If you can see this one, yeah. That is the overflow uh, pipeline. This is one. This is the overflow pipeline going to the drainage. So there will be no problem in our setup, just in case you, uh, the, there's a misestimate of uh, uh, the brine the fuel time so basically if you don't have any uh, brine refill uh, overflow pipeline something like this going there on the drainage there will be a lot of uh, brine water here brine solution here so in our setup there will be no problem See? The overflow right now is going out to the pipeline, so I have to recalculate the the brine refill time. So we get more, how many? Uh, we get 54 minutes more to go before 50, 50, 49 minutes more to go before we finish brine refill. By the way, what you're watching to uh, water process and engineering services right here in our. Uh, Guys. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Alright, we get uh, 26, 24 uh, before we finish brand fuel. Alright! Alright! <laughs> See? If you don't have overflow, Overflow pipeline, so there will be a problem. So since we have a work overflow pipeline, there will be no problem. See? So we're now on the we're changing on the fast range. Right, we are on the 15 minutes fast range. And let's take a look on the sink. Alright. That would be the uh, flow of water, literally the flow of water during the fast rains. Can you see fast? The, the, the water flow also is fast. So we are rinsing the, the recent right now. So during this uh, mood or during this process the water the industrial salt or the sodium chloride right now is being removed on the resin so in the our resin tank this is the resin tank the softener in general term the softener the resin is inside and the pebbles so the industrial salt right now is being removed and of course as what I said a while ago there will be a regeneration so there will be a chemical reaction the calcium magnesium of the water also right now is being removed during the past rains and also the sodium chloride. So if you if you're going to test this one, this is uh, 
this is water taste salty so what we sit right now to remove the salt the standard is the 15 minutes after after uh, 10 minutes the industrial salt taste or the salty taste is already removed but to make it to make it safe uh, we make it 12 minutes to totally remove the uh, the taste salty of the water okay there will, there will be a bubbles the fast, this is the fast way smooth right now and after this is the final process during the backwashing of the softener Right, right time, time right now we get exactly 18 to 7 on the clock. So this is time, the real time. And we got 11 minutes and 53, 52, 51, 50 seconds more to go before we uh, finish total processing of backwash of the softener. Alright, that's it. A friendly uh, reminder. It's not a reminder, it's a friendly, friendly tip right here on water process and engineering challenges. Uh, what I think that mostly we mark as we still at all times. Alright, this is our we cannot be read. This is our water lab, water lab. Right here on water process and injuries. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Right here on our water station.